else mana cost, I guess. Did you have Sunstrike to assist though? So if they did hit all their stuns, I, I think Kuka he's very tanky. He's 80. What's his strength gain? And PMS. Yeah. Actually, his base rank is really high. 24 is very high. Instead, they're gonna make their move on No Tail, who has not skilled anything, and he takes the soul assumption here. He's gonna try to duke it out. Instantly melts. Ooh. Easy first blood for EG. This is pre-sun strength, mind you, as they go for a follow-up kill. Arrow connecting on fly. The tri lane crumbling for OG. Before no. you blink, they've already lost two. Very smart to go on hotel or actually aggressively tri lane with Visage. Visage, especially a carry one, is only tanky when you get like three points into Cloak. He has zero base armor. He has double mango Nyx. Oh, Owning it up bottom. This is a great matchup. For yeah. The universe. Looks like he did go mana burn first, though, so Inverse was forced to skill Rocket Haze first. I don't think he cares. He's probably going to level up Brawler and just, you know. And Brawl. Yeah, create him a couple of times. Trying to set up here on Jax. Barrel Strike comes through. Arrow now. But it's a fairly close range arrow. They've got the brains coming through as well. Good auto attack damage from his EG. Chase down Jax. They will be able to get the kill. RTZ trying to lead boy. No tail can't fight him. And now he's in danger. A follow up Burrow Strike comes in. Brain steps on cooldown. That won't matter. Four deaths. It might be a fifth. V fly would be risky though. Might tank some tower shots. EG going to back out. Perhaps eyes overextended. This could salvage the lane. Has the stick. Pops it now. Burrow's out. Still alive. They need this long range torrent. His opponent. I guess uh, to be to be really good mid player, you kind of oh, crit need that edge. Right? maneuver here. He's gonna try to set up. RTZ coming in from the trees. The arrow though, tanked by Jerak. Now as an eye on the run, the root comes through the torrent. X and him back in, pulling the scorpion into a bad position. And now OG chasing up, but Zyme makes it away. No tail's gonna go down again. OG just hemorrhaging kills up top. He did finally get that point in Gravekeeper. So they rotated Zy into the neighborhood. He might jump in on the storm. They'd love to kill him before it hits six. It is nighttime. Suman walks in. This could be a reverse bait potentially as Jerax comes out right around the time when Zai moves in. Sumail can turn, just cold snap him perhaps, and then follow up with the burrow straight on us moving in position. Now the burrow comes through. It's only the storm, but the follow up damage is there in spades. EG shred him, and now the sleep set up on Jerax going for round two. Even Arteezy arrives for this casual quad lane from O. EG and OG for no match. Ten minutes. Kills uh, up and down the river. Could, could oh, get Ana is level six right now. They're gonna try to ball out. in. Moving on to two mail. He still had the range drops though. A couple stick charges available. Gonna deploy that meteor running back in. But Ana has the damage. Gets the kill. Forces out the universe TP, which will not be fortuitous. And now EG on the chase towards fly. They get the burrow arrow coming in. Fly not able to dodge it. Drills him. Oracle now with the brain set. Down he goes. They are trying to trade here though. As Floor's turn to rotate in. Only finds one here with the stun, but it is good enough for a counter kill. Not chase under crit as well. He's got a mango. He wants to chew it up. Arteezy trying to man up on no stun. Now we'll think he better of it. Does have the stick bolted for mid lane, and they were able to get a kill on Ana, who was very, very low on mana after that jump in for the kill. Jerex. Tanking some damage here. Suman also was tanking some nukes from Fly, and Universe just muscles Jerex down. So Can you disarm uh, or with the Oracle onto the Earth Panda? I don't think you can, right? Because Earth Panda has that thing that protects it. It's called Magic Immunity. Jerex oh, being caught by the Burrow Strike here. Sunstrike comes through. One more auto attack. Gets it done with the comp. Kind of there, but... well, towers. They want to trade. This bottom tower only just now starting to take damage. Meanwhile, Top has already been, or sorry, Mid has already been taken out by EG with the DD rune. However, Arteezy's overstayed his welcome top, and OG are there to punish him. Nice pick off. Ana getting the job done. Zai moving in. He wants to try and interrupt this tower. Deny does get the pro strike. They know it's a strike combo, but Ana's still tanking to withstand this. He balls to the left towards the side shop. No he just teleport scroll. Though. I would say quite significantly. Yeah, does damage talent move from 25 to 10? Setting up on Mr. Arteez, he lobs out the arrow, it does hit the familiar here, might interrupt the chain stun indeed, Universe is on the case now, Jerek's trying to TP away, no tail, still getting hounded here by Universe with those auto attacks, Zai drops low to the familiars, will go pop to fly, however, flies in pretty deep, goes for the TP out, crit is there with the grip, Oh, no escape, and the Sunstrike kill Netsu Mel another. He just resummoned those. They did see some EG heroes near that hill, and now they're all gone, suddenly revealed by S4. Go back for the Midas, completes it, walks to the sentry though, and now 
with an arrow, barely missing him. He might have a chance to turn this around. The boat's coming in. Could connect on two. It's a whopper of a boat, but no follow-up. They may be looking to set up an Ana. Simultaneously fly. Has been scouted here by that Radiant Ops in the bottom lane. RTZ on the chase. He's got the phase boots, the drum charge. Gets into position, leaping forward, and just going to hound fly with auto attacks. Tries to turn this around with some purifying flame. Ultimate counterplay, but I'm not sure it'll be enough. The sun strike fly eventually will pop. The heck? Oh, I didn't realize you were being sarcastic. <laughs> it's like you clearly oh, you no. were not looking at this Marana. No, though. that's why I was. I thought you were checking for sweet cards. Oh, you are. In Surely RTZ can afford better. And when you don't bring some fancy finery to the dance, well. there's a lot of danger for EG to take this game slowly. Like, even if the H just doesn't get used, if they just farm safely with it, it's fine. It like why is it always RTZ? Up. Poor fella gets hit by the vendetta. Then the follow-up's done. Another Bloodstone charge for AJ to try to bulldoze the way right through the OG backlines. Focusing on objectives primarily, though, with the Alacrity Earth Panda just banging away at the tower. No match for it. The split, though. Unless Storm gets an Orchid. Like, the Nyx stun is a bit of a wind-up. I think the best way is to... Gank Arteezy. That is the dream way. But he's not dead yet. Oh, no. There you go. Sunshine coming through his eye with the Burrow. Brains on it down to about half. Lops out the tornado. tornado. Is going to find the storm, but they have to fall off. They want those birds coming back in. Ana still fairly healthy here with 50 bloodstone charges. Continues pursuit. They cannot let Ana get out of control. That's going to be 16. Now the boat, the torrent crashing in. Good control from OG as they search for more. They've isolated Sumail. No more Aegis available on the run. Won't make it out. Ana up to 17. A tower. Looking for the Jarex. Flank, it worked beautifully last time. Kenny set it up again. Gets into position. He's going to X Universe. Drag him back. He won't get off the split just yet. They lock him now with the torrent. The boat crashes in. Still controlling the Brewmaster, but the counter initiation from the Sand King oh might be God. enough. No, Universe is down, and Ana is raging up onto the high ground. He's got a Lincoln Sphere complete. Still 18 charges, healthy and confident. No tail moves in as well. Stays alive through it all. S4 chasing forward. EG on their heels. But Zai comes in. The dagger from the rear. The Scorpion punishes OG. Is the taste of the burrow strike, and we'll get to work. Structures are melting. Birds. Why not the Earth Panda? Why the wind? One down. More to follow. Bears are the natural entry of buildings, whether it's a spirit bear, a pulverizing earth spirit aspect of a brewmaster. It doesn't seem to matter. EG, take those structures down. The brew, the storm force to. Oh no, he didn't start for EG. Yeah, OG. Actually scouted out. The familiars are scouting, are pushing out the lanes. They're not going to be able to see this time. Oh, but they do jump here on the Zai. The X pulls the storm back towards safety. The Rose drops low. In come the familiars. Stuns need to be timed right. One, two. Make it three, now the Impale, the boat as well, the Roche will fall, Ana grabs it as well as the kill, comeback time for OG, they move into the pit, Zai's on the run, just like that, Sumail also in danger, and S4 chasing forward, Storm diving up the cliff, hasn't finished him off just yet, they're going to tap that shrine, continue to retreat, RTZ gives his buddy the Lincolns, and they will back away, now Crit left to try and salvage this fight, the Brewmaster controlled for now, as he will be forced on his heels, Crit manning up, Battle Bane in your face, but not for long. Gonna get Bloodstone Charge, has the cheese still. Hard for them to mitigate. They don't have a pipe. And also just the storm being able to jump people. They're gonna ball in now, make their move with Ana out in front. Once those Bloodstone Charges will be getting them crit down. Being back and S4 is providing some vision. If he could just cancel TP, like crit I think is 100% dead. Oh, they are gonna find crit again. It's another charge for Ana. But they did, I think. They farm. Sinking's going for a halberd. He's sort of pop link up on so much here. Oh, Sumail, he does dodge the stun still. He gets zipped on, pulled back in, and finished off. OG, grab a huge gun. Guess who doesn't have vibe? If they can lose tier 3 if they don't vibe back. I think they lose it if they do vibe back. But they might lose those shrines. Could be here. Jarrow comes in. The, at this point, it feels like those familiars can come along. A lot of misses with the. Evil as well, not hitting particularly hard, but he is the siege engine, such, <laughs> as, such as they have. Eventually, they'll bring it down. Meanwhile, they also need more armor. They need AC badly, but Brewmaster can't, also can't skip his BQB. So, the, well, you mentioned off. the evasion, no longer an issue with the Bloodthorn complete. In comes Ana, head full of steam and looking for the Bane. He takes him out again, another charge for him as he moves on to Arteezy, locking him in position, can ball oh. it a bit deeper, but the tornado actually catching him and trying to salvage this fight. Sumail keeping Ana alive, or uh, Arteezy alive at least for now, but still Ana cheesing up. 
Going for round number two. Familiar stuns with the Brewmaster split. All dookied it out in the midst of the chaos. But the Tiffany Blast locks him in position. Anna may actually go down here. He balls to the right. Tries to make it out. Good save by the Oracle. The epicenter quite off the mark. I have the tail end that will net himself a kill in the Kunkka. S4 hanging on as well did Carapace. They can play around this, but Anna healthy up on the high ground with the haster and he keeps on chasing. No tail flanky for the rear. They've got a fresh Orchid here. All evasion removed. They'll take down Universe. Oh they look for more. Mail though, still in this fight. Stay, staying around somehow, some way, but now they convert. Take him out to OG. Things that I get confused about. Not even 10 minutes, like two minutes. <laughs> They're not even yeah, active yet. Yeah, that's true, that's true. Big jump forward once again. Ana with the commitment once a piece is I. And the Swede has been slain. Now jumping away. Resetting is Arteezy. Trying to threaten here. S4 is a carapace. Uh -huh. Ana's going to go deeper. That's uh -huh. another free kill, I believe, for Senor Storm. Indeed, he'll get it. Now crit. This is ultimate cancel wow. out by Jerax and a clean five man wipeout as EG are in shambles. A game that was in their grasp has slipped away. It's OG with all the momentum out of control. The storm up to 23 bloodstone charges and keeps on rising. Gained a total of 17 this game, including ones he lost earlier. Now BKB complete, almost fully slotted out. Racks are going to start dropping. Sunstrike won't connect here on S4. EG, very uphill climb to get back in this game. The Lincolns has been so useless, Amarana. Like, and she's just spent like 15 minutes for me. I think the idea of Lincolns is good. It's yep. just that it was so delayed, and then you OG got the cheap items I could like pick it. Ana just keeps on sieging, poking away at this melee. Rax will grab it too, and OG find them some gems. By the oh, way, they did steal grab. a gem in the last fight. Jerax as well as S4 holding them. So lots of ways to see this thing coming to Mail gets a two here, twenty eight to start up. BKB pop. Ana chasing that Mirana, but needs to come back and help the bulwark of the team. Oh, Turning for the Sand King, trying to lock him down. He can't finish off Zai. Bane down, Kunkka down, but here come the buybacks. The